Hi there, welcome to this installment of Detroit Speed Tech. My name is Ryan Matthews and I'm an engineer here at Detroit Speed. Today we're going to talk about the camber and caster. Caster and camber are two static front suspension settings that affect how the tire behaves when a vehicle is cornering. First, we will look at camber. Camber is defined as the angle between the wheel center plane and a vertical plane perpendicular to the road surface in the vehicle front view. Camber can be used to optimize how the tire is loaded during cornering. When the camber angle is set such that the top of the tire is closer to the vehicle center line than the bottom of the tire, it is considered negative camber. The opposite scenario, where the top of the tire is farther from the vehicle center line than the bottom of the tire, is known as positive camber. Detroit Speed offers a camber shim kit that includes black anodized aluminum camber shims in thicknesses quarter inch, eighth inch, and sixteenth inch. These camber shims make adjusting and setting your camber quicker and easier. Adjusting camber is easy with Detroit Speed camber shims. First, we'll start by removing the existing standard individual automotive shims. To do this, you need to loosen the upper control arm bolts. Um, they don't need to be loosened any more than what it takes to get the shims out. At this point, we have no shims in our corner assembly. If we want to increase negative camber, we'll add more thickness than was previously there. If we want to increase positive camber, we'll add less thickness than was previously there. This basically shifts the upper control arm and top of the spindle inboard and outboard from the vehicle center line. Before we can define what caster is, we first need to define the steering axis of the vehicle. In this example, which follows most muscle car independent front suspension, the steering axis is defined as the imaginary line between the centers of the upper and lower ball joints. Once we've defined this imaginary line, we can measure our caster as it is defined as the angle between the steering axis and a vertical plane perpendicular to the road surface when viewed in the vehicle side view. Most vehicles use positive caster in the front. Positive caster is when the intersection point of the steering axis and the road surface is forward of the tire contact patch in the vehicle side view. Positive caster improves steering self-centering and helps the vehicle track straight. Positive caster also causes the outside cornering tire to gain negative camber with steer angle, which is preferred. It also causes the inside cornering tire to gain positive camber with the same steer angle, which is also preferred. However, excessive positive caster can make the steering forces heavy and unresponsive. Like camber, actual caster settings are dependent on many vehicle, road, and tire variables. Most performance street vehicles use positive caster in the range of anywhere from 3 to 8 degrees. Let's see how caster is set on a Detroit Speed suspension system. In order to adjust the caster angle, we need to be able to change the steering angle. In order to do that, we need to be able to shift the upper ball joint center fore and aft. To do that, we basically need to shift the whole upper control arm assembly fore and aft. Detroit Speed accomplishes this with removable inserts in the upper control arm cross shaft called caster tuners. These are available in three different designs. A zero, as shown here in the example. The one insert, which has the hole offset exactly one eighth of an inch from the insert center line. And the number two insert, which has the hole offset exactly one quarter of an inch from the insert center line. By interchanging these different inserts, we are able to shift the entire upper control arm assembly fore and aft to set the caster angle. Thank you for watching this installment of Detroit Speed Tech. For any further questions or product info, feel free to contact us at any time.